Hello friends, a very warm welcome to the Crochet Hook channel. Namaste. See, today we have this absolutely beautiful and so very gorgeous pineapple lace pattern shawl that we are going to crochet together. Have a look on all the sides. This pattern looks so royal and has such a mesmerizing look. These big bobbles make it even more rich. On the width side, I have added double tassels. The pattern for which is shared on the iCard and also in the description box. You can get the pattern for the double tassels. Please go and check that out. You can even work it in multi colors. Here I have worked it in two colors. And you can simply team it up with any of your beautiful attires. It will definitely look uh, awesome. For the friends who are joining me here for the first time, please do consider subscribing to my channel. That really means a lot. That inspires, motivates and keeps us connected as you get a notification each time I post on my channel. Let's have fun crocheting. Link for this beautiful pineapple shawl is shared on the iCard and also in the description box. Please check that out. Should you like it, you must go ahead and watch this beautiful shawl pattern on my channel. So let's understand a little about the shawl. See, this shawl is worked using two laces. This is lace one. Here you can see this. This is lace one that is forming. And here is the lace two that starts from this wide angle and then comes like this so it has two laces and then again here comes the lace three which is just like lace one and then here comes the lace four which is just like lace two so basically it's the pattern of two laces repeated over and over so you can take it to any width you wish nextly on either sides after completion i have worked a little border here and added these double tassels in two colors so if you wish you can just work uh, simple tassels or whatever decoration you want to add to your borders uh, it's entirely up to you and here let's understand about the pattern row two this is row two this is row one from here begins a shawl this is row two here where we have this first v stitch in the center this is row two so row two to row 15 here this is row 15 this is our pattern repeat for the lace one right again here comes row 16 which is just like row 2 here so just be clear row 2 to row 15 is our repeat and this is repeated over and over to create the lace one and nextly see this has these big bobbles which give it such a beautiful and royal look it really looks rich and same applies to lace 2 also see here if we skip this lace first uh, row here row 2 to row 15 here this is the repeat for the lace 2 as well skip this one then we have this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 just before this bobble this is our 15th row and uh, we have taken this bobble row here so again from this row 2 to row 15 this is a repeat for the lace 2 this uh, will be told in the video later on so don't worry about it everything is explained over and over for better understanding also remember because this is a lace on this end we have a different border we have a different uh, I mean starting and ending of the laces and while when we end the shawl see this is the end of the shawl and here we have a different kind of ending of the laces and so I have very explicitly in a very discreet manner properly explained how to work the width side border at the beginning of the shawl and how to work the width side border at the end of the shawl. So just follow me through and you will be through without any trouble. So though the pattern for the border is same but the working of the chains before this border is different on both the sides of the shawl. Just keep that much in mind and just follow me through and you will be through. When we work lace 1, you just have to create lace 1. But when you begin working the lace 2, simultaneously this lace 2 will get joined at different points with the lace 1. That the loops we already would have created while working the lace 1. So when you are working lace 3, you will have two laces joined already. And then when you are working lace 3, you will be simultaneously joining it with this uh, ready laces. And when you are working lace 4 you will be just simultaneously working it and joining it with the lace 3 so like that it's worked also see here you can add uh, colors to your shawl as i have added here so i've 
very clearly explained into which row you have to change the color so when the point will come i'll be explicitly telling you when and how you have to add a new color so you see here i have just used two colors and to create the laces and i have simply added this pineapple here with the same length on the edges and in the center it's all lemon yellow but you can change colors any time you wish you can make it a multicolor as well just change it the way i will be showing you here while in the video and uh, you will be through there isn't a trouble in changing colors many times you can work it in a multicolor as well that is entirely your choice just change it into the row and the way i'm telling you here in the video Weight of the shawl in total is 466 grams and because I have used uh, and this I am telling excluding the fringes without the fringes the weight of the shawl is 466 grams and because here I have used two colors so 400 grams of lemon yellow I have used and around 66 grams of purple shade in the shawl I have used. The weight of the shawl with the tassels is 541 grams here so the length of the shawl including the border till the other border excluding these tassels so including the border the length of the shawl is 238 centimeters or 94 inches and it will get increased when you'll wear it because uh, it has its fall and then it increases an inch or two like that and if we see the width and the width of the shawl uh, completely unstretched comes to around 57 centimeters here or this is 22.5 inches on the ends and because the shawl is wavy it will be varying uh, widths at different points on the shawl so here to begin with here i have taken this vardhama knitting wool and this is vardhama millennium knitting yarn that i have chosen in lemon yellow shade as you can see it's a very soft wool and has lots of light in its uh, appearance and here i have taken four such hands each hank is 100 grams in weight, a total of 400 grams. And I have taken red and purple shade wool for tassels and color change. Nextly, I have taken this 3.50 millimeters of crochet hook. You will also need a sewing needle with a big eye, a few stitch markers in handy, a measuring tape and a pair of scissors. So let's get ahead. So here to begin with, work a slip knot. This is how I prefer to work my slip knots. Then work 10 trains. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Having worked 10 trains, skip 3 trains from the hook. Then yarn over, insert the hook into the 4th chain below, pull up a loop. Now yarn over, pull through first 2 loops. Yarn over, pull through the remaining 2 loops, 1 double crochet is worked. Yarn over again, into the same chain below, insert the hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through first two loops. Yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. One more double crochet is worked. So here, counting first chain three, also as a DC, we have three DCs work. Now work one chain. Yarn over, work three more double crochets into the same chain below. One, two, and three. So here in this fourth chain, we have created a shell. Then work three chains. 1, 2 and 3. Now skip 5 chains below and yarn over into the 6th chain. Insert the hook, pull up a loop, work 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over work 3 more double crochets into the same chain below. We are creating the same shell here. 1, 2 and 3. So here our first row gets ended. In the fourth chain we worked 3 double crochets, chain 1, 3 double crochets. We skipped 5 chains below, we worked 3 chains and then worked the same shell into the 6th chain below with 3 DC, chain 1, 3 DC. 3 DC. Now work 5 chains. This is our turning 5 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then turn the work and we'll begin with the row 2. So then yarn over and into this chain 1 space with the shell below here. 
into the chain 1 space between the 3 DC sets here while 3 double crochets 1, 2 and 3 then work 1 chain. We are working the same shell here. Then yarn over 3 more DCs, 3 more double crochets into the same space below 1, 2 and 3. See here we have created a shell atop a shell in its chain 1 space. Then work 1 chain, then yarn over and we have 3 chains below. In its second chain here in the center one, insert the hook and work 1 double crochet like this. Now work 1 chain, then yarn over, work 1 more double crochet into the same second chain below. Right? See here we have created a V-stitch with 1 double crochet, chain 1, 1 double crochet. A V-stitch is work. Then one work 1 chain. Then yarn over and see on either sides of this V we have worked one train. Then yeah, with your yarn over in the shell ahead we are just going to create a shell. So into its chain one space work three double crochets. One, two and three. Then work one train. Then yarn over work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below. One, two and three. Again, we have created a shell, a top a shell. See, this is how it looks. This is row 1, this is row 2. In row 2, we worked 5 chains, then worked a shell, a top a shell, then we worked 1 chain, a V-stitch in the center chain below, and worked 1 chain, then created a shell in the chain 1 space of the shell below, right? Now, we'll begin with the row 3. So, then first work 5 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. These 5 chains are our turning chains. Then turn the hook yarn over in the shell below and its chain 1 space. Insert the hook and again work a shell with 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over work 3 more double crochets into the same chain 1 space of the shell below. 1, 2 and 3. Then Work 2 chains. This is the third row we are working into. Then work 2 chains. 1 and 2. Then yarn over. And see here we have this V-stitch. In the chain 1 space of the V-stitch here. Insert the hook. Work 1 double crochet. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over. Work 1 more double crochet. Into the same chain 1 space of the V-stitch. A V-stitch is created atop a V-stitch. Right? Then work 2 chains. 1 and 2. Then yarn over into the shell ahead in its chain 1 space. Create a shell again. So then work 3 DCs, 3 double crochets here, 1, 2 and 3, then work 1 chain and then again work 3 more DCs into the same space below, 1, 2 and 3. This finishes our row 3, this is how it looks. Then work 5 chains, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, then turn the work. We'll begin with the row 4. Yarn over into the shell in the row 3 in its chain 1 space. Work 3 double crochets. We are working a shell here. 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over work 3 more double crochets into the same chain 1 space of the shell below. 1, 2 and 3. A shell is created atop a shell. As usual, and then work three chains one, two, and three. Then yarn over into the chain one space of the V stitch below here. Insert the hook and work one double crochet. Then work one chain. Then yarn over work one more double crochet. Again, we have worked a V stitch into the chain one space of the V stitch below. Right? Then work 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3. Then yarn over. Into the shell ahead. We are going to create a shell in its chain 1 space. So work 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over. Work 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. Right? Row 4 also gets completed. These are small rows. We have 4 rows worked. Now, for the next row, work 5 chains. This is a turning chain. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then turn the work. We begin with the row 5. Yarn over into the shell below. Again, create a shell. And it's chain 1 space. So, insert the work and work 3 double crochets. 1, 
two and three then work one chain then yarn over work three more double crochets into the chain one space below one two and three again a shell is created into the chain one space of the shell below now work three chains one two and three and yarn over into the chain one space of the v-stitch here work three double crochets one actually we are going to work a shell here as well so work three double crochets then work one chain then yarn over work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the v-stitch below one two and three again see a shell is created in the center also in the v-stitch the same shell we are creating on the peripheries then work three chains one two and three then yarn over into the shell ahead in its chain one space again create a shell so work three double crochets one two and three then work one sing one chain sorry then work one chain then yarn over work three more double crochets here one two and three the shell is created here row five gets completed then work five chains this is our turning chain five and turn the work we begin with the row six yarn over into the shell below in its chain one space again create a shell so here work three double crochets one two and three then work one chain then yarn over work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below one two and three a shell is created right then work three chains one two and three and yarn over see we have a shell ahead in its chain one space here into this shell in its chain one space work seven double crochets one two three four five six and seven so into the chain one space of the shell below we worked seven double crochets here in the center shell then work three chains one two and three then yarn over in the shell ahead in its chain one space create a shell again so work three double crochets one two and three then work one chain then yarn over work three more double crochets into the same space below one two and three row six gets completed here this is how it looks now for the row seven work five chains this is a turning chain five and turn the work yarn over into the chain one space of the shell below work a shell so th then work here three double crochets one two and three then work one chain yarn over work three more dc's into the same chain below to create a shell one two and three simple then work three chains one two and three and see we are going to work triple crochets here so yarn over twice now insert the hook in the very first dc in the very first double crochet after the chain three here pull up a loop then yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops one triple crochet is worked then work one chain yarn over twice again into the next double crochet below insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops one more triple crochet is worked then work one chain yarn over twice again into the next dc below insert the hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through first two loops yarn over pull through the next two loops yarn over pull through the remaining two loops one triple crochet is worked right then work one chain now yarn over twice into the next dc below work one triple crochet the same way then work one chain then yarn over twice 
into the next DC below, into the next double crochet, work one triple crochet. The same way I have just explained. Then work one chain, then yarn over twice, into the next double crochet below, insert the hook and work one triple crochet atop it, like this. Now, one more to go, work one chain and then yarn over twice into this last DC ahead, in the row below, work one triple crochet the same way. Right? Now, this is what we have created. After chain 3, we worked 1 triple crochet, chain 1, 1 triple crochet, chain 1, 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 triple crochets work till here. Then work 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3, then yarn over. We have a shell ahead. Into the chain in space of this shell here, work a shell. So then work 3 double crochets. 1, 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over work 3 more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below. 1, 2 and 3. Row 7 gets completed. This is how it looks. In the row 7 we have worked triple crochets. We have 7 rows completed. Let's begin with the row 8. So then work turning chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Turn the work and yarn over. We have a shell ahead into the chain one space of the shell below. Insert the hook and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then work one chain. Then yarn over, work three more DCs into the same chain below. One, two, and three. A shell is created in the chain one space of the shell below. So here, after this shell, Work 3 chains 1, 2 and 3 and see we have these triple crochets and after that we have this chain 1 space here. So we are going to work in this chain 1 space. So work 1 single crochet in this first chain 1 space. Then work 2 chains 1 and 2. Skip the next triple crochet and then in the next chain 1 space work 1 single crochet. Then work 2 chains 1 and 2. Skip the next triple crochet in the next chain 1 space work 1 single crochet. Work 2 chains, 1 and 2, skip the next triple crochet in the next chain 1 space, work 1 single crochet. Again, work 2 chains, 1 and 2, skip the next triple crochet in the next chain 1 space, work 1 single crochet. Work 2 chains and in this last chain 1 space, just work 1 single crochet like this. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 chain 2 loops being created. Then work 3 chains, 1, 2 and 3, then yarn over. We have a shell ahead after this chain space. Here, in the chain 1 space of the shell, just create a shell. So work 3 double crochets, 1, 2 and 3. Then work 1 chain. Then yarn over, work 3 more double crochets in the same chain 1 space of the shell below. 1, 2 and 3. Right? So here, nextly we go ahead and for the next round work 5 chains and turn the work. Yarn over again, we'll create a shell in this shell below. So in its chain 1 space, create a shell. Work 3 double crochets. Then work 1 chain. Then work 3 more double crochets in the same chain 1 space of the shell below. Right? So here then work 3 chains 1, 2 and 3 and then see we have chain 2 loops here. After this chain 3 and after the single crochet we have this chain 2 loop yarn over and in this chain 2 loop insert the hook and work 9 double crochets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and one more, 9. So we have created 9 double crochets, pull that loop up and now having created the 9 double crochets, pull that loop up and insert the hook beneath the 2 strands of the very first DC of this shell 
and then into the pulled up loop. Now stretch it up to tighten it up and pull this loop through the two strands of the very first DC to convert it into a big bobble or a popcorn. Then work one chain tightly to secure it. Then each time we work a bobble, we'll work one chain tightly to secure it. Then work two more chains. Into the next chain to space below here. See? Insert the hook and work one single crochet like this. Then work two chains, one and two. Then yarn over and in the next chain to space ahead after the single crochet. Here, work nine double crochets. One, we are going to create a bobble again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and one more here nine so we created nine double crochets in this next chain to space pull that loop up now within the two strands of the first double crochet insert the hook then on the back side through the pulled up loop stretch it all up pull this loop through the two loops of the first double crochet a big bobble or a big popcorn is worked work one chain tightly then work two more chains after every bobble we put one chain tightly and then we put two more chains then in the next chain to space below, work one single crochet like this. Now, work two chains, one and two and yarn over in the next chain to space, that's the last chain to space here. Work nine double crochets again, we'll work the bobble again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and nine pull that loop up insert the hook beneath the two strands of the first dc to create a bobble here like this from front to towards the back side then to this pull the loop pull this loop all tightened up to the beneath the two loops of the first double crochet then put a chain tightly then work three chains on this side so after the bobble here, we have created four chains, right? Then yarn over and skip this chain space. We have the shell ahead. In it, chain one space. Again, create a shell. So then work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then work one chain. Then yarn over, work three more DCs into the same chain one space below. One, two, and three. This is how it looks. So here we created three bobbles. We created a bobble in the first chain two, then in the third and then in the fifth. And uh, having created this shell, we'll go for the next row. So then work five chains here. The turning chain five. One, two, three, four and five and turn the work. See, we have a shell here. Work a shell into the chain one space here. So work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Then work one chain. In yarn over, work three more DCs into the same chain one space below. One, two, and three. Now, see this is the back side of the pattern. On the right side, we have the bobbles. This is the back side. We are working the next row, right? So here then, work four chains. One, two, three, and four. And see, skip this next chain four. And after the bobble, we have this chain two space here. After the bobble, we have this chain two space here. Work single crochet. Then work three chains. One, two, and three. And after the single crochet, we have another Chain 3 space here. In this chain 3 space here, work 1 single crochet. Right? Then work 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3. And after this bobble, we have this next chain 2 space just after it. Into this chain 2 space, work 1 single crochet. Then work 3 chains. 1, 2 and 3. And after this single crochet here, we have this chain 3 space just before this bobble. Just before the next bobble. Into this space, work 1 single crochet. Here we have created three loops of three chains each, right? Then work four chains. 
on this end we worked four chains here and after this three loops of three chains again on this side work four chains and yarn over in the shell below here in its chain one space create a shell so then work three double crochets one two and three then work one train then yarn over work three more dc's into the same chain one space below one two and three right so this is the wrong side of the work where we just created loops here three loops are being created and nextly when we'll be working the next row we'll be creating bobbles into them right so from here for the next row work five chains one two three four and five and turn the work now on the front side of the work will be showing up and on this side yarrow again and work a shell into the chain one space of the shell below so work three double crochets one two and three then work one chain then yarn over work three more DCs here, three more double crochets. Now, and after this shell here, work four chains one, two, three, and four, and yarn over. After this four chains, see, after this first bobble here, we have this first chain to space in the row below. In this chain to space, work nine double crochets we are going to create a bobble here so work nine double crochets one two three four five six seven eight and nine having created nine dcs pull that loop up insert the hook beneath the two strands of the first dc from front towards the back side then into the stretched up loop tighten it all up pull this loop through the beneath the two strands of the first DC and put a chain tightly then work two more chains one and two now we have this after the single crochet we have this next chain to space in the row below showing up here into this next chain to space work one single crochet here then work two chains one and two and yarn over we have this last chain to space showing up yarn over into this last chain to space work nine DCs nine double crochets We'll create a bobble here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Pull that loop up. Insert the hook beneath the two strands of the first DC and then through the pull tip loop, tighten it all up. Pull this loop to the first DC and put a chain tightly above it like this. So on this side, we have put four chains. So after this tightened chain, Put four chains one two three and four and then yarn over skip this chains and so here after this four chains we'll again create a shell so yarn over and in this chain one space of the shell below just work a shell so here work three double crochets then work one train then work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below so here our 11th row also gets completed this is how it looks atop three popcorns you have created two popcorns and nextly for the next row work five chains we begin row 12 here then turn the work and yarn over see we have a shell below in its chain one space again create a shell so work three double crochets then work one chain then work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below a shell is created atop the shell then work four chains here this is the wrong side of our work showing up right then work four chains one two three and four and see after this chain four and after this popcorn we have this chain two space here into this chain two space work one single crochet like this then work three chains one two and three and across this single crochet also we have this chain three space into this space work one single crochet like this right so we created a loop here then work four chains one two three and four see on other side also we had chain four skip all this chain yarn over and in this chain one space of the shell ahead work a shell so then work three double crochets then work one chain then work three more double crochets into the same chain one space below right row 12 gets completed it's a small row and we have created a loop here in the center with this chain three here Nextly, we'll be working a popcorn. So work five trains. Row 13 begins here. And turn the work. Then yarn over and we have a shell ahead. Work a shell into the chain one space of the shell below. 
work three double crochets then work one chain and then work three double crochets right a shell is created here and then work four chains one two three and four and see this is the front side of a work showing up in this chain through space that we just created after the chain four and single crochet here yarn over and into this chain through space work nine double crochets two three four five six seven eight and nine pull that loop up insert the hook beneath the two loops of the first double crochet then into the pulled up loop and tighten it all up bring that loop through the beneath the two loops of the first double crochet and put a tight chain there we have worked four chains on that side then work four more chains on this side as well right then skip this next chain four and yarn over in the shell here and it's chain one space create a shell so work three double crochets then work one train then work three double crochets a shell will be created a top a shell here right so here this is a row 13 that gets completed here and this is how it looks for the next row for the row 14 work five trains and turn the work again yarn over we have a shell below in its chain one space create a shell again so work three double crochets one two and three then work one train then work three double crochets one two and three then work four chains one two three and four and see here we have our popcorn at the center of this popcorn like this as i'm just showing insert the hook around it pull up a loop work one single crochet there like this then work four chains one two three and four and we have a shell ahead yarn over in its chain one space just work a shell into it so work three double crochets one chain and three double crochets into the chain one space of the shell below a shell is created row 14 gets completed this is the front side of our work and this is how it looks see we have here a total of uh, 14 rows worked till now and this kind of shape is generated so here we have completed till 14th row of this pattern and before we go ahead here so here if at all you want to go for a shape change this is the row and this is the point where you have to go for the change of the color so bring in another thread or another color that you want to add to it after this 14th row and here just pull in the new loop and don't worry we are not tying them up together right now we'll be securing them later so then first five trains here and we'll go for the next round just tighten it up and it will stay there just like that so we'll be rescuing them later so yarn over and then work a shell into the chain one space of the shell below so here again just work three double crochets then work one train and work three more double crochets into the same chain one space of the shell below Having worked the shell, then work three trains, one, two, and three, then yarn over, and across all this midsection, we have a shell ahead. Into the chain one space of the shell, just create the same shell again. So work three double crochets here, one, two, and three, then work one chain, and then work three more double crochets into the same chain one space. So here is our 15th row gets completed. So whenever you have to change the color, always change in this chain five, turning chain five after the 14th row and then work with a new color and see here we have completed this is a second row and uh, we have completed a total of 15 rows till here and uh, let's count it this is row 2 to row 15 this is our pattern repeat row 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 this is a pattern repeat for this shawl for the lace one that you have to repeat over and over to reach any length you desire so here we have completed till row 15 and we're going to work uh, row 16 above it row 16 is just like row 2 here see so and we already know that our pattern repeat for the lace one is row 2 to row 15 so row 16 is just like row 2 so here then after this shell so then to begin the row 16 work 5 chains this is our turning chain 5 and then turn the work 
Then yarn over and in this chain 1 space of the shell below, simply create a shell. So here work 3 double crochets, then work 1 chain and then work 3 more double crochets into the same chain 1 space of the shell below. A shell is worked the top of shell, right? And then work 1 chain, then yarn over and see this is our row 2 where we have worked this V at the center. The same pattern we're going to work here. So then yarn over and uh, in the second chain, insert the hook, pull up a loop, work one double crochet, then work one chain. Then yarn over, work one more double crochet into the same chain one space below. A V stitch is created here in the second chain below, then work one chain. Then yarn over, we have a shell ahead into its chain one space, just work a shell the way we always do. So, so then work three double crochets, chain one and work three more double crochets into the chain one space with the shell below. Right? So here is our row 16 gets completed and this is just like row 2 here. Right? We have worked 1V at the center. And this is row 1 and this is row 2. So row 2 is just like row 16. We are repeating the pattern from row 16 again. So you just keep repeating row 2 to row 15 over and over till you reach the desired length of your shawl that you wish. And this will be the pattern repeat for the lace one of the shawl. Just remember this much. Whether at all you are going to go for the shape change or not. This is the pattern for the lace one. And also whenever you have to change the shade. It is this turning chain 5 where you have to change the shade after the row 14 shell here. So just remember this much and you are through. So just keep in mind that you have to repeat rows 2 to row 15 over and over for any length that you are aiming for and this is the pattern for the lace 1 of the shawl. And so here my lace 1 gets finished and here I have worked 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 10 such pineapple repeats of the pattern and uh, now I am going to end this row. So here this is row 14th after which this is the end of row 14 and here I'll first put a knot and simply cut the thread. Put a knot well and secure this loose end onto the back side of this lace here. Right? Here, remember, we have ended the lace 1 in row 14. And lace 3 will be worked just like lace 1. So here, if you have changed the colors, then you'll have the loose ends in two colors and I already have told you not to put a knot using these two different colors rather what we'll be doing here see we have this purple shade I'll first thread my needle with one shade and secure it in the purple and then I'll take the yellow one and and then I'll secure it in the yellow shade so here I'll first thread my needle my needle has a big eye so I'll just thread it with this purple shade first see we have chain here so into this first chain like this I'll first put a knot to secure this thread here. Secure it really tightly then into the next chain ahead also in one of its strands like this I'll put a knot. So we have secured it twice and now I'll just secure this thread into this purple shade in the shell where it's thick so it will be easy for me to secure it there bring it to its original shape don't tighten it too much and it's done cut that extra thread that is there so that way purple got uh, all done then with the yellow shade also you have to just repeat the same thing so just thread your needle with this yellow shade and now here we have this um, on the back side of this yellow, always you are going to sew your loose ends onto the back side. So here, the nearest stitch is this shell. So into this DC here, atop it, taking one of its strands, I'll just put a couple of knots here. Like this. And then, see we have a shell here, so it's easy to secure this thread in the thick base of the shell. So I'll just work to and fro kind of moves like this from this side and then from this side towards that side. 
just pass your thread two or three times like this through the shell and once it's secured enough then just cut the extra thread that is there having secured it enough times just cut that extra thread and always we have to sew our loose ends onto the back side of the work and see how neat they look because we have not put a knot here it's so neat and tidy and so well secured in their respective colors and it's so neat that you cannot make out where it's uh, the knot is put and just like this wherever you have loose ends just sew them putting knots in the respective shades and then in onto the back side